Hello, my friends, and welcome to the Chew. I'm Robert Wallace, and this is the place where we ask, are we choosing the way of Jesus, or are we choosing our own way? Today is our 10th devotional during this Lenten season, and I'm inviting you to join me in looking at some questions from the passages that we're reading during this season. The whole goal is for us to go deeper in our walk with Jesus and to ask questions, hard questions, for ourselves, for each other, that we may grow in grace. By the way, I'm still looking forward to hearing from you. If you're bashful about leaving a comment, I understand. Feel free to send me a private message in Facebook or text me or call me, and we can have a conversation. I'm looking forward to hearing from you truly. Well, today we're going to read Matthew 6, verses 16 through 24 again, and Matthew chapter 9 verses 14 and 15. Again, today, our focus is on fasting. Yesterday, it was treasure. Today, it's fasting. So I hope you're ready. Grab your Bible and open with me to Matthew chapter 6, verses 16 to 24. When you fast, do not look somber as the hypocrites do, for they disfigure their faces to show others they are fasting. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face so that it is not obvious to others that you are fasting, but only to your father who is unseen. And your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Do not store for yourself treasures on earth where moth and vermin destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moths and vermin do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are healthy, your body will be full of light. But if your eyes are unhealthy, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then, The light within you is darkness. How great is that darkness? No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Now, Matthew chapter 9, verses 14 and 15. Then John's disciples came and asked him, How is it that we and the Pharisees fast often, but... Your disciples do not fast. Jesus answered, How can the guests of the bridegroom mourn while he is with them? The time will come when the bridegroom will be taken from them. Then they will fast. This, my friends, is the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Will someone say, Thanks be unto God? Have we missed the point here that Jesus expects us to fast? Do we know what fasting is all about? Do we understand the importance of fasting? Do we understand that fasting is between ourselves individually and God? What reward or benefit do we expect from God from our obedience to fast? Which way are we choosing? Are we choosing the way of Jesus or are we choosing our own way? I pray that as you read these passages again together today, that you will take the time to invite the Holy Spirit to give you eyes to see and ears to hear God's truth from his word, that you will have a receptive heart and mind to receive these truths, and then that you will take action today in a step of faith with the same boldness, commitment, and courage of Jesus. What will you do with what you've learned here today? What action will you take from these questions or questions that the Holy Spirit gives you? I pray that you'll have a wonderful day, my friends. Go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.